Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your Vintage Collection Dreamcast emulator to be using the ReDream emulator. Um, this was a patron request and I thought what a great idea. Um, as soon as I read the comment on my patron page I was like, you know what, I have to get this out there and give everyone the update. So the reason why I would use this over Null DC or Demule is it's constantly being worked on and the emulator runs I mean it just runs amazingly um, over 80 percent of the games are compatible and they just continue to to make updates for more and more games more fixes and things like that so um, my hats off to everyone on the redream team um, and let's go ahead and get into this I'm going to show you guys it's nice and simple it's a small little download um, and it's going to have Redream up and running for you in your Vintage Collection setup, nice and easy. So, first thing you're going to want to do, as usual, is go to the link in the description. And it's going to take you to download the Redream Dreamcast Swap Vintage Collection link.txt. Small little text file. Uh, once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to open it up. Highlight everything inside like so. Copy and paste that into your web browser and you can go ahead and download the 7-zip file it's the redream redream dreamcast swap vintage collection dot 7-zip just under 100 megs um, once you have that downloaded we'll right click and with Rinrar you can extract here with 7-zip extract here so once it's extracted you're gonna have the redream uh, dreamcast swap vintage collection folder and inside we have a text file and a vintage collection folder. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our H drive where we have vintage collection installed. And we're actually just going to be in the root of H. We're going to take this vintage collection folder, right click, cut or copy, uh, and paste. And it's going to ask if we want to overwrite some files. Mine is 13, you might be a little bit less. I've been doing some work on it. so. But you would just, yes, if it asks you to overwrite anything, absolutely click yes. Now for the next step, we're going to need Notepad++. Um, that was included with Vintage Collection in your, in your Utilities folder. Um, so if you were in Vintage Collection, Utilities, you would see that you have Notepad++. You can go ahead and install it if you haven't already. Uh, but hopefully you already have. <clears throat> But once we're ready to go, we're going to open up this text file that we've downloaded. Add to global emulators any.txt. So we're just going to open that up. Highlight everything inside just like so. Right click, copy. And we're going to go into our vintage collection folder. Into rocket launcher. Into settings. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we find the global emulators .ini file. So we're going to right click, edit with notepad++, and we'll open it up. So it's going to start you at the very top. I like to keep things um, organized, so I'm going to go in alphabetical order. So I'm going to come all the way down until we get to R, and after rain, before Regan, we could put redream. So on rain, at the very bottom line of it, it says pause, load, state, keys, F4 down, F4 up. Make sure your cursor is right where mine is. You can see it flashing. Press enter, enter, and then right click on it, click paste. So yours should look just like this when you're done. So make sure it looks exactly how mine looks. We're going to go and make sure we hit save, close it up, and I'm going to mute real quick. And let's go ahead and launch Vintage Collection. We'll go into Sega Dreamcast. And I'll do Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Everything looks exactly the same so far. Now, we're going to get the 
um, Dreamcast BIOS boot. I'm just going to skip it there. Let's just make sure our game's booting. Everything's working. So I've had no issues as of yet doing it this way. Um, if we back out, you'll quickly see Redream <laughs> um, as you back out. And that, that to me, I, I was actually kind of glad that I saw that so that I know for sure that it's Redream running the games now. Um, and I've tested about 12, 13 games or so. Everything booted up perfectly. Everything was fine. Um, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. So that is how we get uh, Redream to be the new Sega Dreamcast emulator uh, within Vintage Collection. Redream is a great emulator, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, and just that it's constantly being being updated and 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 progress is is just phenomenal. They they they, they post new versions quite often, so I'm very impressed um, by the Redream team. Um, so again, I really want to say um, thanks everybody for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.